So, you didn't think I was going to come to the Triumph Tent and not take the Rocket 3 out. If you did, you're an idiot. Because hell yeah, we're going to take a Rocket 3. Alright, let's get up. Oh, find my pegs. There we go. There we go, found it. Alright, got the traffic cop. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I trust the Buffalo Chip Flunky to be the traffic cop, but hey, whatever works, right? So, anyways, this is the one. This is the Triumph Rocket 3. This is still is, from my understanding, the largest factory production motorcycle displacement engine you can get. It's what, 2300 cc's? Quite large. Lots of cc's. It maybe isn't the most comfortable thing in the world, but how many people do you know that got a 2300 cc bike? Not many. <laughs> there we go. Air conditioning. I'm pretty sure I'm going 70 right now. I can't tell. Actually, that's a really hard uh, speedometer to read. <laughs> that's interesting. Jesus. Also, a lot of wind, as you'd expect. So if I remember right, the original rocket was 2100 cc's, I think. And it came about in the whole big, you know, arms race of how big can we build our engines from all the non-Harley motorcycles in the mid-2000s. In fact, I remember right when they first launched it and they were taking it on the demo tour, I think they had a shirt and I think the shirt said size matters. <laughs> That's got some snort. As you'd expect, 2300 cc's has a little bit of snort. And if you can't figure out what I mean by snort, then, well, I can't help you, man. You could also call it go juice or a little bit of throttle. I don't know. Either way, it is a pretty, pretty cool machine. It really is. Nothing that one's a test ride like two people on a Harley just looking around. Do I got anybody behind me? Because we're going to 060 this thing here. Use this airport approach here. Ah. I hope they're turning. Just turn. Just turn. Okay, good. Stay there. I got a road test to do. They go in the other way? Good. Good. Because I have a road test to do. We have very intelligent, very good, we have scientific tests going on right now. Things we must do. Things we have to do. Although I think that's a freaking, uh, that's a, uh, ah, well. All right. Okay. Shall we do it? And go. a good 
good place to eat not oh man okay that's enough we allegedly made it to 100 there I screwed up my 0 to 60, I didn't hit my second. So I got a little red line in there. Whoops. <laughs> but here's the best thing about all that power. Just like that, we were at 90, from 60 to 90. In six gear. Like I said, you definitely got some snort when you got one of these. You could get yourself in trouble with one of these if you wanted to. <laughs> these are so much fun though. Man. These are so much fun. Oh, no, these are I do enjoy these bikes. I, I do have a soft side for them. Are they the bike I would choose? No. Are they the bike I would ever know? Probably not. Because they're just not my style of riding. I'm not really much for the cruiser. I mean, really, I, I'm a gold. I'm a, I'm a touring guy. I'm very much a touring guy. But by God, it'd be a lot of fun. And if I could just afford to buy bikes whenever the hell I feel like it, I'm sure I'd have one of these. Although, I mean, let's be honest, I'd have a lot of motorcycles. So would everyone else. I love the sound of that thing though. That's a f phenomenal sound. Yeah. That's a good sound. <laughs> I like that sound. And scene. All right. Like I said, once again, I don't have pricing specs on us. This is the GT. There is another, and it, a lot of the GTs kind of difference of that they brought here kind of depends on where they, you know, move the foot pegs. This one's got a front forward kind of peg. Um, all right, let's take a picture. Not that way. There we go. And of course, the obligatory other side. Yep, there it is. Perfect. First time go. First try. Hell yeah. Are we still recording? We are. Good deal. All right. But as you can see, just it's a shaft. One thing, it is a shaft drive. So that's good. I like shaft drive, although it has some leg. The other great thing about it, they have a single swing arm for it. So tire changes are easier, which you have something with this much power, you're probably going to be doing a lot of burnouts. And well, anything that makes it a little bit easier to get that tire off is good because if you're doing all those burnouts, you're going to go through tires like no tomorrow. Alrighty. Anyways, we are on. Clutch in. They do not let you start them without the clutch in. That's for sure. Don't know why, but. All right. Let's give her a zero to 60 real fast. Try this again. And go. Was to 
90. We don't want to get too crazy though. Nice, I like it. <laughs> and she kind of feels the road pretty well. I mean, she obviously she handles just fine. You know. But really in the end, the reason you buy a Rocket 3 is because, well, you just want just some power. Like this is honestly kind of a, in a way you could say it's kind of a throwback. Kind of a throwback to the, uh, oh, what am I trying to say here? Like the V-Max, like it's kind of cut from that V-Max cloth, right? That just that, that muscle cruiser, right? God, they, that, the sound on this thing is amazing, though. And really, this is a great seating position. I like this position. This is perfect. It almost, in a way, feels like it's just about meant for me. The one thing I would change, I'd want the handlebars a little bit further back. I'm a little hunched up. But, same time, a Triumph Rocket 3, you are not taking for a road trip. And if you are, hey, good for you, but... Talk about the wrong tool for the job. <laughs> yeah, very much the wrong tool for the job. I mean, it's kind of like using a screwdriver as your pry, or a flathead screwdriver as a pry, as a pry bar. Yes, it is not the right full to, tool for the job, but it's done all the time. So that's how motorcycle it is. There's a lot of the uh, not the right tool for the job gets done all the time. Pants Shaytree Army Sturgster, or, or Shaytree Surgeon Sturgster. <laughs> Once again, wrong tool for the job, but hey, you know what, who cares, right? As long as you're having fun. I will assure you of this. You pull up to bike night with one of these, and maybe not true everywhere, but I can assure you, here in South Dakota, you pull up to bike night at Sickies tonight, which it is tonight, it's Wednesday night, you pull up to a Sickies bike night with this, I guarantee you, you're going to be the only one there. And in the end, this wouldn't be a bad one to have. I honestly don't believe, I can't believe Triumph still makes the Rocket 3 to be honest with you. So they must sell, they must sell an okay amount of them. Although I always figure Triumph probably sells more Scramblers and uh, more Tigers than anything. They tried to do away with the Tiger for a while and that didn't last very long because, uh, well, there was a lot of Tiger fans out there. But anyway, it's another great machine. I'd like to thank you for swinging by the Sodec Motorcycle Blog. Once again, I'm your host, Clutch. We do motorcycle content with the Black Hills angle. Obviously, we do cover the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally because, well, it's home. It's 20 miles away. Also, we talk about Goldwings quite a bit, even though I'm not on a Goldwing, but I do own one, and I ride it most mostly when it's not rally. We do new videos every single week on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time here in North America. So I would appreciate if you subscribe to the Soak Motorcycle Blog. Also, you can hit that bell notification icon to be notified of future videos. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Feel free to leave a comment, good or bad. Just put it on there. But know this, if you leave a stupid comment, you might get stupid prizes. Once again, I am Clutch from the Sodec Motorcycle Blog. And, well, we will see you later.